What is your deal, Mike? All right, before we get to Afton and those animatronics, let's look at the other players in this case. This Mike guy has some problems. Maybe the judge will be lenient. You're making me feel like I'm the crazy one? <laughs> Moving on to Aunt Jane. What an awful personality on this woman. And this degenerate is who they entrust with the well-being of a mentally ill child. Jane. And she, she doesn't even care about Abby. All she wants is the monthly check from the state. We had a deal. Yeah, that you were going to find me hard proof of criminal endangerment. Judge gives you the kid, and you give us two thousand dollars. One thousand. But do it fast, and don't mess it up. I mean, you don't mess it up, but don't don't mess this up. Enjoy prison, lady. Why don't we just kill him? I hope this lawyer has a good lawyer. Yeah, that you were going to find me hard proof of criminal endangerment. Is that guy okay? I just realized I shouldn't be hearing any of this. Should have picked your clients better, Doug. I wish someone would buy me a ring. Oh, right. Can't forget about the babysitter. <laughs> you said 200. We had a deal. Yeah that you were gonna find me hard proof of criminal endangerment. Instead, you told me what a nice kid my niece is and that my nephew sleeps a lot. He really does, though. Mike was saying that he really needs this new job to, like, look good on paper for the judge or... Gonna have to wait a few years for that ring. Hey, screw you, lady. My sister went over every inch of that dump a thousand times. This guy, Jeff. Just a typical lowlife who bit off more than he could chew. We tossed the place. Go on. You know, he's a security guard, right? His job is to make sure nobody gets in. So, we get in. And we mess up the place good. We help ourselves to whatever we find along the way. Your nephew gets canned. Judge gives you the kid, and you give us... $2,000. All right. I'd be quick, but thorough. Maximum damage, minimum time. You see anything valuable, grab it. We'll uh, settle up after. Imagine dying trying to rob a Chuck E. Cheese. What a loser. If you're too whacked out to remember to lock a friggin' door, accident or not, you're liable. It's called criminal negligence. Next up, we've even got a cop that was involved. You can do whatever you want with your own life, but if you ever bring Abby back here again, I will shoot you. His name is William Afton. He's my father. You knew? My... This whole time. My brother, you knew. Not about Garrett, no. At, at least... Not when we met. Sorry's aren't enough, lady. I'm not kidding, Dad. This William Afton guy, he might be one of the sickest, most depraved people we've ever investigated. Just trying to figure out who you are, Mr. Michael. Sh we can see here immediately that Afton's actions are completely premeditated. 
making his subsequent murders fit into the first degree classification. In the 80s, when those kids went missing, police searched Freddy's from top to bottom. Every inch was accounted for. And they never found them. The kids, they don't want to hurt anyone. It's, it's him. He influences them somehow. He took everything from them, but they don't remember. This is perfect. First I killed your brother. Now I kill you. Symmetry, my friend. <laughs> Tell me you have a sister. She will love it here. One job, one. Keep him in the dark and kill him if he got too close. That's two jobs. Let go! I won't let you hurt her too. You're going away for a long time, Afton. You sicko. Freddy? Finally, let's take a look at the animatronics. supposed to sentence those that are already dead.